first of all, we have to challenge this crisis narrative, um, which has been such a predominant focus of the, of the media discourse and of the political discourse for the past couple of years. Um, statistically, numerically, migration has remained uh, as a percentage of the overall population at around 3%, so it hasn't increased. It's just that we are more people in the world today, and there are therefore more of us on the move. Um, certainly, people fleeing Syria are in individual or personal crisis oftentimes. Um, and certainly people left behind in, in places of conflict or civil war are in crisis. But um, the states that are responding to migration are by and large not in crisis. These uh, new immigration arrivals are largely manageable. And, and I think the, the solution is the way that migration has been managed for most of time immemorial. Um, that is legal pathways for people to, to enter a country um, or to enter a country without prior permission and to regulate their status after the fact. Um, this is something that's been done for, for centuries. It's only really re relatively recently, and I think it's important to note that, that we've turned to this really securitized approach of fix your status ahead of time or don't come at all. Um, and I think that has real impacts on things like right to asylum, uh, the protection of children, uh, victims of trafficking. Um, it's really causing, I think, a fundamental breakdown in the way that um, the international protection regime is supposed to work.